Hey girls, Stephanie here with Beauty on a Budget. Okay, so I just wanted to make this video to let you guys know about my weekend, which was super crazy. Okay, so where is it at? Is it right here? It's about this. Okay, so on Friday night, I believe, or Friday at work or whatever, my boyfriend had told me, hey, we're going to go on a hike tomorrow. You want to come? Blah, 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 blah. It's two miles. You'll be fine. Okay, so... As always, I fall for the crap, and I was like, okay, let's go. So, um, Saturday morning, they told me we were going to leave at 7. So, Saturday morning, I woke up around 5. Get ready. Of course, boys are never ready on time. They lagged it and took forever. We ended up getting to the place, Chantry Flats, Flats, Chantry Flats, something like that, um, around 8-something, and it was already packed. Like, we literally parked far away but coming to the trail starting point, I don't remember it being far, which is really crazy. So anyways, we get there and, um, yeah, so we get there and we end up, um, seeing like the signs. We get there, it was really nice, the scenery was super pretty, I'll definitely insert pictures here. Um, just really pretty, like huge trees and like, the weather was nice, it wasn't hot, but there were so many trees that you weren't getting any sun, and I was like, wow, this is a really easy, like, trail, like, this is ridiculously easy. So then we start going up a little bit, and sure enough, one of the guys goes off on his own, and we're like, okay, whatever, you know, and, um, the whole purpose of going here was to go on this hike to a, um, a waterfall, and so we're like, okay, whatever, so he ends up getting, like, super head, and we don't ever come in contact with him for a while and the whole time like he was there he was like really into doing this 10 mile hike or was it 10 miles no seven mile hike <clears throat> but I honestly was like okay I know they're just messing around we're not going to do that right we're just going to do the two mile hike like why would they bring me here if we we're going to do something so hard like that so we're looking for him and then I'm starting to catch on like okay we have been walking for a while now like what are we doing and sure enough, they decide to do the seven mile hike. And I am freaking like irritated. It's not hot. I feel good still. But I was just like, why would you guys do this to me and not tell me, right? So it was crazy. Um, it ended up taking around three and a half hours to get to the top of the hill, which um, was kind of weird because at the beginning it was really, really calm and really, really fun. And then um, we started going up, and then it ended up all being up, like uphill. And I was just like, wow, this is getting a little bit difficult, you know. And it was still fun, like it wasn't hot, it was all good. It seemed like it never ended, let me just say that. Like the trees were so tall that you feel like, oh, you're finally getting there, you know. Like it's starting to open up, you start to see the, the sky, and, and all of a sudden we're like, wow, like this is a never-ending hike. Finally we get to the top. Sorry about that. So I kind of was like in a little bit of a rush because my boyfriend was picking me up. So I had to stop the video and restart totally from where I left off. So we're just going to get right back into it. So I get to the top of the hill and it is like a total relief. And all I can see is cafe, Cosmic Cafe, I believe. Yeah, Cosmic Cafe. And I was like so freaking excited. Like, I was like, oh my god, there's a cafe, like all I could think about was food, blah, 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 blah. So I ended up trying this hummus and cucumbers because I didn't want to eat heavy stuff because I know, I'm not sure if it's like this for everybody, but for me, when I tend to eat heavy stuff, I don't really feel the urge to want to walk or want to work out or want to hike for that matter. So whatever, um, we ended up stopping there. And we came back in contact with the other guy that we went to, and he was there, and it was it was pretty cool. Like, we sat for about an hour, no, half an hour, and around 12.30, we were like, okay, let's get back at it. So we decided, well, we thought that we were going to take, like, a shortcut because um, originally going up, we thought it was seven miles. Turns out it was seven and a half miles. Coming back down, though, we did hear a few people say that there's a shortcut that leads right <laughs> off to the parking lot and blah, blah, blah. And then um, we came across this group of people that um, were, I don't know, they were, like, going on a hike there, too. But they said that they got to the same spot that we did on a two-mile hike. And right off the bat, I was just like, wow. Like, I really could have saved five miles and just did what they did. But, no, we went, like, the freaking... 
hardest way possible. So I was like, oh, whatever. So he said, if you go down this way, like it's way shorter, blah, 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 blah. So we first start going down this cement roadway. And I was like, oh, it's going to be shorter, you know, it's cement. And it's like you're still going and then you're still going and then you just see dirt and it's just nothing. And then we start going through trees and everything and I just felt like, oh my God, it's like we're on the same hike but in a different angle or different, I don't know, it's crazy. Um, and every sign we would see would be like three and a half miles more to go or four miles more, or five miles more, we're just like, what the heck, this ain't no two mile hike, like we're going right back to the seven and a half mile hike that we started on. So we ended up taking this, um, the two other boys went ahead of us, I stayed with my boyfriend, I am not one to, um, going up there, I mean, I did really well, I stood with them, and I stood up with them, coming down, I was a little bit more worried, because it was sort of steep, and it's easier coming down, but I'm very, very careful, and I didn't want to fall, I didn't want to slip, I didn't want to fall off a cliff, so, I was a little bit slow, so he stayed with me, and, um, it just seemed like it never was gonna end, like, it literally took forever, and I was just like, oh my god, like, okay, we could see the top of the trees, and it's getting lower, then lower, then lower, then new trees are starting, and you're just like, when is this gonna stop, like, really, if it weren't for me seeing people on the way back down, I would have been like, wow, how do we even know that we're going the right way, um, it was pretty crazy, I heard rattles, snakes, I knew it was rattlesnakes for sure, um, and then the last one I actually heard, I seen, um, well, my boyfriend said that he's seen the actual skin from the snake, like the skin, the sh snake had shed, like, and I heard the rattle right there, and I was just like, I do not, like, I looked down, and then I was like, oh my god, I do not want to cross, and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna run it, and I ran right over the spot that I heard it, and I never actually seen one, but it was pretty scary, and then, um, up there, I mean, they have freaking signs everywhere, bear country, don't antagonize the bears, stay in large groups, um, Food attracts the bears, scent attracts the bears, animals attract the bears. And I was just like, what the heck are we doing here? Um, and then my dad um, actually found this real cool book that he had purchased, Trails of the Angelus. Um, but we'll get into that in a little bit. So I ended up um, getting to the top of the hill finally. I mean, the bottom of the hill finally. And then um, we're going through this roadway of like, you know, benches and stuff and um I guess like where you first start out and it was really cool and I I was like I just felt accomplished but I was like wow we're so tired and the two boys were sitting down and I was just like okay we need to go because if I sit down I'm just going to stop like stop my feet hurt I was dirty it was just crazy and I don't really care about getting muddy or dirty or whatever like that's never been me but it just felt really like, you know when you want to stop doing something, but like you can't? Like that's exactly how it was. Like if I was running and I was trying to do seven miles and I felt I can't do this anymore, I can't push myself, you just stop. But when you're hiking in the freaking mountains on a seven and a half mile hike, like you can't stop. You're not going to get back home unless you keep going. So that like push, it just, it didn't agree well with me and I didn't really like it. But I mean, I did it nonetheless. So we finally got to the bottom and we get up and we start walking down the road and I swear I never imagined that we had parked that far. It seemed like the longest, the longest walk to the car ever and it really was like we actually did park really far and then we get in and we start going down the road and all of a sudden out of nowhere a freaking deer runs right in front of the car and we stop and then the deer runs in the little patch of grass on the side. And it was just so amazing just to see the deer. And usually deers are afraid of, like, cars and stuff like that and people. And it was just standing there. And then I was just looking, like, there's something weird about this situation. Like, why is the deer just standing here? And all of a sudden, we hear, like, these little cries. And all of a sudden, a little tiny baby deer jumps up and just stops there. Like, full-on spots like Bambi. I'll post pictures at the end of the video to show you guys. Swear to God, looks just like Bambi. And he's crying, and his mom is looking for him, and he's crying. And finally, he um, he comes across her, and they end up, you know, reuniting, and it feels so good. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Um, but let me try to lower my shade a little bit, because these people are always looking at me like, what the heck is she doing? You know? And it's kind of weird. But anyway, um, so yeah. Um, and all of a sudden, the... 
the deers are like right there and I was just like all oh, the little baby like how cute and oh my god it was just like really 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 nice so finally we get home and they dropped me off first and right when I got out of the car that is when I realized oh my freaking god I can't bend my legs my legs are sore my legs are stuck I'm freaking crippled and I'm walking like the biggest loser ever and um yeah, so that night, we were still planning on going out. I didn't sleep because I had to straighten my hair and things like that. And, oh my God, the whole night, my legs throbbed and throbbed and throbbed and throbbed. And here we are. That was Saturday. And here we are Monday. And I'm still in pain. So I hope it kind of goes away because I am going to boot camp tonight. And I want to make sure that I'm able to do everything that I'm supposed to do. Um, but the whole highlight of my whole freaking trip, swear to God, we first get there and this guy, um, when we were driving by to look for some parking, we see this guy's car is kind of like smoky and to everyone else it just seems like overheating because it's driving up a hill. Um, so we passed the guy and we were parking and then we're walking back up and he's screaming, oh my God, oh my God. And he was like an Asian guy. I felt really bad because he was really panicky and I know that panicky feeling, right? So he's like, oh my God, do you guys have water? And everyone's like, no, because they're like, we're not going to give you my water. Like we have a big ass hill decline. So then um, we start walking. He's all, car's on fire, car's on fire. And everybody takes out their water. It's so funny. And they start pouring the water on the engine and the fire's starting to die down. They're like, grab some dirt and put the dirt on the fire. But this guy is so paranoid and so panicky that he starts just grabbing anything. Like literally if there was a freaking brick on the dirt he's gonna pick that up and throw it and it was so crazy because like you could see on the windshield like there was rocks everywhere like he didn't even care if it was dirt or sand or whatever he just picked up freaking boulders and chucked it at his windshield and I didn't see any cracks or anything but I just remember at that point I was like oh my god it's gonna blow up and you guys know that scene from the bridesmaids when she's saying that there's like a lady on the wing or whatever and the other girl gets up we're all gonna die like that's how I felt I swear to god like I was like oh my god it's gonna blow up and the forest is gonna catch on fire and all this crap but it ended up going out and we called the ranger and they called the fire department and it was just a crazy experience I was like oh my god we haven't even gone on this hike yet and look at what's happening you know it was pretty crazy um, so yeah, I definitely don't know if I would be doing this again soon, but I mean, it was a good experience. It was a long, a long freaking, a long hike. So that brings me to, um, this book that my dad actually found, and I'm trying to find the, the one that we did. Oh, it's right here. Um, so this book is called Trails of the Angeles. He purchased this from the MRI Surplus Store for $14.95. And the trail we actually did was on here. It's number 40, Old Mount Wilson Trail to Sierra Madre to Mount Wilson. Mm. Yes. And it's seven and a half mile one way. And it's 4,500 elevation. It's strenuous uphill, moderate downhill. Which to me is crazy. I can't even imagine that I did a strenuous uphill and a moderate downhill, which is really crazy. But this is what it looks like in the book, as you guys can see. And if if you look around here, like all the other hikes are like nine miles round trip or eight miles round trip. And here you have ours, the one that I do the day I decide to listen to these boys. Seven and a half miles one way. Like to me, that is freaking crazy. But nonetheless, I do recommend going there. I do recommend, um, if you, when you guys see the pictures, it's really pretty. Um, and that whole area where I took most of the pictures is where I wish I would have stopped. Um, the actual waterfall that we wanted to go on originally was only two miles. So I know now that that's going to be total breeze. Because if I did this, I could do that. But, um, yeah. Like, I really, I've been really liking the whole nature part of it. But I think that if you're planning on doing a hike like that, you really need to ease into it and do like small little hikes first like for instance the Garcia Trail that's common over here by our area that we live in, is a mile and a half and to me that is freaking hard it's all uphill it's in the sun it's just crazy um surprisingly I think going up the hill the seven and a half mile hike was way easier than that but now because I did that who knows maybe that might be easier for me but I do recommend slowly easing into it because a 14 mile hike like I'm still recovering two days later and I don't think it's going to get any better anytime soon so I really recommend you guys ease into it so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned for further videos whether it be about makeup cakes or hikes have a great day guys